Hey guys, today we are doing a little coupler session. Let's call it Couplers 101, gooseneck couplers to be specific. That is, whether it's an F-Max uh, series trailer, the Fleetneck Engineer Beam, or if it's a coupler on a gooseneck package, which you can do like dump trailers, equipment trailers with the gooseneck package, still gets the same gooseneck coupler. So we have a few different gooseneck couplers that are, it kind of depends on the weight rating of the trailer, number one, because no matter what weight distribution method you use, the gooseneck coupler still always has the like a pin weight. It still has the uh, maximum weight is like your limiting factor. So if you're rating the trailer at you know twenty four thousand, it's always you know or say twenty five thousand, it's always um, it's always governed by the rating of the coupler. So no matter if I've got three 10K axles and can rate it at 30,000, if my coupler is only a 25K coupler, it's still limited at 25,000. So your coupler is definitely your limiting factor. And so, you know, as it, kind of the smallest gooseneck coupler you use is rated at 25K, which covers all of your, um, your gooseneck packages and up to a F-Max 210, which is two 10K axles. From there, you step up, we've got a 30K, a uh, couple of different options on 30K. You got the shocker thrown in there, which is uh, the airbag cushion hitch. And then you got the big boy, the 40K Telus coupler. So we were out here on the yard at Diamond C. You got a lot of goosenecks around me. We're gonna look at um, the standard round coupler, which is kind of the industry standard, what most every manufacturer uses for standard, you know, as standard equipment on 25 and 30K couplers. We'll show you, you know, a couple of variants of options and then we'll show you the 40k Telus coupler, which is a really cool patent pending product that Diamond C developed for this new evolving 40,000 pound gooseneck market. So the first one that we'll look at is, like I said, this is the just round standard gooseneck coupler. It's got you know, a pin that goes through it for adjustability. You've got about five holes, I believe, four or five holes of adjustment up and down, which lets you fix your ride height depending on the tow vehicle, whether you have you know, a lower sitting, like a two wheel drive or a four wheel drive or F-350, F-250, what, it gives you some range of adjustability on the standard neck. Uh, you set your, your pin and then you'll want to tighten these set bolts down. Big thing to keep in mind, no matter which coupler choice you end up with or which, which coupler on a gooseneck you end up with, always set your set bolts, tighten your set bolts with no load on the trailer to get all the slack out of the coupler. Like right now, you can see it's moving around. You can hear it because the set bolts are not tight. So if I knew, say, this whole setting is what I want, I would want to make sure to get it the weight off of the coupler, unhooked from the truck, and then I would tighten these down good and tight and jam the, the lock nuts down. That way, you know, I take all the slack out and there's not any rocking because we've seen from time to time if guys don't get these set bolts tight, you'll start prematurely wearing around this pin because you know you have all that weight on there and it's constantly rocking on your, your pin, your set pin. So definitely a, something, if you have a round coupler, take that tip, uh, make sure to tighten set bolts with no weight on it. So this is the Again, this is your standard round coupler up to a 25,000 pound rating. The same is true, let's see, this is actually, this is a 210, so this would be the same on a 212. It would look identical, but your outer tube is rated at 30K. Like the hitch is, the whole thing is rated at 30K instead of 25 to give you a little bit of cushion on a 212. So our next step, on every gooseneck package and uh, 210 and 212, well, every gooseneck package and 207 up to 212, we have a square load leveler coupler. All of these are rated at 30K. We just bring in the 130K. It's overkill on the lighter weight trailers, but it is a fantastic upgrade for not a lot of money. I think it's maybe a couple hundred bucks, hundred bucks, something like that. The cool thing about this one, it still has your set bolts like we looked at a while ago, but you can actually raise and lower it with this crank handle like a jack. It's got a jack handle right on top, so you can raise and lower it. You know, when, with it on the truck, you can do that 
to get your ride height how you want it depending on the load you're carrying. Say you've got a heavy load, you know, heavier load up front than normal, squatted your truck a little more, you want to get the trailer leveled out, go ahead and get find where you want it with the load leveler handle and then you could unhook it from the truck, tighten your set bolts down, put it back on the truck and let it rip. So very, it's a little, looks to be a little heavier duty, reinforcement band, it's a two, dual set bolt steel, same type coupler um, at the bottom coupler head. So from here, you would go to, you have an option. So you got the round standard, you got the square load leveler, and then an option on all of these up to 12K ax or up to a, like a 212, 25, 30K rating is a shocker hitch. And it's, it's a product that we endorse. We've got tons of hot shotters pulling fleet necks out there that use them. Construction guys more and more are using them. The shocker hitch is a beautiful thing if you are pulling quite a bit. You know, if your rear end is in the seat of the truck a lot, that shocker hitch, you will really thank yourself for it. It's a small investment up front. It's got an airbag um, in the back side of it. You adjust the pressure in that airbag depending on the weight that you plan to be hauling. So I know I'm gonna go pick up a heavy load of tractors today. I can inflate that bag a little bit tighter, but it takes a lot of the, the chuck and buck when you've got, when I mean, you think about it, on a normal coupler like this, you've got a hard metal coupler mounted on a, a hard ball. Yes, it articulates on the, the hitch ball, but you still have metal on metal. You've got this hard uh, neck, rigid neck on that ball and you have the suspension on your truck that's, that is you know, absorbing a lot of that energy, but there's just this, this uh, unnatural kind of push on the truck. So what that shocker hitch does is definitely takes a lot of that energy that the trailer pushing on the truck and absorbs it and makes the ride. Like the first time I used the shocker hitch, I'm not even gonna lie, like it blew my mind. Empty and loaded, I was just, I was not really, I wasn't expecting as big of a difference as I got in the seat of the pants driving, you know, pulling that gooseneck. So, and even more so if you're a hot shotter and you're running air ride, don't ignore the shocker. The shocker, it just makes it that much better. When you've got a shocker on the truck, air ride on the trailer, I mean, you're talking about a, you know, heavy duty rig, a one ton F450 type truck pulling a 25, 30K trailer with, you know, on air with that shocker hitch, that, that rig just floats. So. Shocker hitch, definitely a good investment. The next one that we're gonna look at is the 40K Telus Coupler. Let's see, where is it? Where's the Telus Coupler? So the Telus Coupler is something that we designed, I don't know, gosh, it was back in like 2013. Bulldog started coming out with these 40K couplers. Great thought behind it. Um, you know, a lot of, the market is definitely growing on the 40K trailers but the problem with the, the one that Bulldog came out with in the very beginning was it only had about three inches of adjustability and we all know that depending on the the tow vehicle man like you can you can have a a 350 two-wheel drive and then a 450 four-wheel drive and have a fairly significant you know change in height of the truck as well you've got you know the guys that are pulling these trailers with small um, freight liners and, and single screw trucks and things. So we knew that there could be a better way. There had to be a better way. And so our original design, we took their coupler and we had mounted it to two big uh, plates to where that we could have additional adjustability. It worked well, but it was kind of clunky because it had a lot of extra metal in there. It was really heavy. And so this last year, 2019, no 2020, I'm sorry, Late 2019, early 2020, we started designing what we're calling, what we've deemed the Telus Coupler. That's what we're right here, Telus Coupler. And the cool thing about the Telus Coupler, we took, we got rid of those big plates and we're using still the Bulldog Coupler head at the bottom and it still has your three inches of adjustability from them built in. But what we've done is we've redesigned the rest of the coupler to now have three, one, two, three more positions. So you've got a total of about nine inches of travel built in now, instead of just the three that Bulldog had put out on the original coupler. And this is a, a huge improvement because we, we shed a lot of weight on our original design, but it's light and very strong. Got the big ribs coming around the front 
it circles all the way around to the back this heavy duty reinforcement rib right here like you have it's it's just in essence it's heavy duty this 40k telus coupler comes on is part of the 40k gvwr package available on fmax 312 fmax 216 sdx which is the step deck 312 216 and then as well it comes on the um yeah, just those, sorry, those two. It comes on those those two models. We, we're looking at also making, I was thinking of the WDT, the big, you know, heavy duty uh, dump trailer, gooseneck dump. We'll have a 40K package coming on that one too. So definitely, you know, what I've been, been talking about in the last several videos, when we've talked about suspension and then gooseneck buying guide and couplers are something that you wanna pay attention to. You know, uh, a lot of customers I don't feel like realize that there's so many different uh, options on couplers. You know, we narrow it down. We kind of narrow the scope a little bit on couplers for our trailers to make sure that we're given we, what we feel like is the best selection. But e there's a whole world of couplers even outside of what we offer. You know, uh, we offer the Shocker. That's what we endorse on the cushion hitch. Genwa makes a, a really cool looking, um, it's a torsion hitch. It works well from what we have been told. So like this whole world of, of hitches, couplers outside of what we offer on, you know, as a standard or as an option at Diamond C, but get educated as far as, you know, what, what you're looking at, the trailer you're looking at and, you know, see is it what is, is how the dealer has it or how I've built it the best for what will work for me. So make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. I hope you found it, you know, found it uh, useful and make sure to follow us on all the major social channels. We'll see you on the road. Hold on, hold on guys. Don't run off just yet. I wanted to, to make a shameless plug right quick for the Learning Center on Diamond C's website. These videos that we're making like the tutorials and kind of buyer's guides and all kinds of useful information, go to our website, top right corner, uh, there's a button that says Learning Center. If you dig in there, if you're a trailer nerd like me, you just like to learn, go there and there's tons of useful information to learn more about offerings you know at diamond c and reasons why we do things the way we do the options that we have to offer and get a little bit of insight on the culture at diamond c so there you go we'll see you on the road again Boop.